Okay, everyone, so what I'm doing today is I'm filming a couple of videos and uh, what they are is just to show you guys when the assay results come back in for these samples that we're sending out, what the actual results are. What we're going to do is we're going to put a list on the side of the screen here of every single element that's in each of these samples. And uh, we got about three or four sets of assays that we're going to send out and we'll make a video on each one of them, show you guys what kind of results we get out of these. So the first one I want to look at here, this sample, um, along with four others, come from a quartz vein, which we found to be about one meter wide now. Uh, we exposed it outside of the old mine shaft that was struck in the early 1900s. The shaft is not very deep. It's about seven, eight meters deep. And uh, it's virtually barren now. They pulled some mineral out, but uh, we believe this is an extension of that. And uh, we're getting some really good grades on our initial samples. So uh, we'll see what these ones come back as. So this is the first one right here. And as you can see, you have quartz with calcopyrite and that's your primary sulfide in this deposit you can see there's some malachite staining and a little bit of azurite there so primarily what you see is calcopyrite you see a bit of bornite and you see a bit of pyrotite but uh, not a whole lot so this is the first one we're going to be sending off And the initial sample for this that we sent out had about a tenth of the mineral that this one does. And we got some okay gold values out of that for uh, the sample we sent out. And that was just an initial grab sample. This right here is actually a chip sample off the vein. So that's the first sample right there. Second sample is also a chip sample, just a small little one here. And uh, again, similar mineralization as that last one. Third sample here, another small one. And this one we're actually just going to be sending out for uh, gold, just to see the gold values in this. This is a solid hunk of calcopyrite, again, from the same quartz vein. And this is sample number four here. And you can see this one has some really nice calcopyrite up in here. And this is actually a boronite in here which is pretty common for this property. There's a few showings that have uh, calcopyrite, bornite, pyrite, and pyrotite. But look at the mineralization there. You got your uh, malachite staining there and azurite. both carbonate minerals. You see that often when you're around copper sulfides or native copper. I would say on average, the deposit contains about 40 to 45% mineralization. And uh, as you can see, it's very beautiful mineralization. So this here is the final sample that we're going to be sending out in this batch. And again, this is also a chip sample off the vein. So basically, all these samples, we took them at uh, one meter intervals on the vein. So it should give us an idea if we were to average all five of these out. 
and uh, that should give you a good average of what you'd expect in the vein. So this sample here again, quartz, you got your malachite azurate in there, staining from your copper sulfides, nice calcopyrite in here, nice calcopyrite all in here. This block in here is just calcopyrite. If you were to look at that under a microscope, you would see that it's iridescent. So again, there's a little bit of boronite in here too, but this one's primarily calcopyrite. And again, a nice sample. So these are the samples right here, five samples from the same vein. And uh, so far we've chased this vein for about five meters. It's actually located about uh, 50 meters away from the old shaft and it's along the same strike. So we definitely think it's the same vein structure and uh, hopefully this one turns out to be awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and we'll see you guys in the next video.